Hey guys, it's Cora Ross and welcome to this video about Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So I got to play this just a few days ago at Gamescom and I want to go over my experiences and of course I have gameplay footage as well. So we got to play on two different maps. One was a construction site, it was a very long map, very thin, which meant it was very very good for snipers. There was enough cover for close combat to move around, but you were definitely at a disadvantage if you didn't have a couple of snipers backing you up. And then the second map was by far my favorite. It was basically a crater, it was a big circle that you kind of came over the edges into this compound. Compound's quite small, only a few buildings, and it's also symmetrical, which is really nice. So it had a big central building and about four exterior buildings, all mirroring each other. It was very, very nice. It was a great map to play on. And the big difference from Wildlands is the interiors in Wildlands for the houses and buildings were crap, but this was far better. However, I've still not mastered the art of actually moving around inside interiors in Ghost Recon games, at least the modern ones anyway. It just doesn't feel right. Um, but it was very interesting to play. We had four classes, so these were all very similar. They did have different abilities, but it was very rare for the teams to get in positions where they could really use them. Uh, especially not knowing the game enough. We also had a very limited amount of weaponry to play with. We literally had the P90, an assault rifle, the stoner LMG, and a sniper rifle. And basically the kits were already pre-made and we could uh, select a few different ones for each class. So like one of the classes had a P90 as the primary and the stoner as a uh, secondary. And another class had the assault rifle as the primary with the stoner LMG as the secondary. Then another class would have the stoner as the primary and the P90 as the secondary. So it was very similar to play those. But of course the final version of the game will have a lot more choice when it comes to weaponry. So hopefully we'll have a lot more uh, different feeling operators. And the way it works as well is the classes are of course are connected to the single player. So you can level them up in single player or cooperatively in the story mode and of course you can also level them up in multiplayer as well so it's a, a nice kind of combination of those progressions all going towards the same character so you can have fun leveling up as you go in whatever mode you're playing now they have attempted to improve the game when it comes to ghost war over the previous one but i felt that for the most part it didn't feel like they succeeded so for instance you now have to go and find loot now loot is simply healing, uh, drones, and I think explosives, and I think you can get other stuff as well that we didn't see, like smoke grenades and stuff like that. Now that does mix it up a little bit. It also means that when you spawn, you're not gonna suddenly have a whole bunch of drones flying at you from the other side of the map, because those players actually have to go and find a drone, pick it up, and then they can use it. But uh, also the drones got shot down very easily in this version. Uh, we were, we, it was very easy, with anyone with a full lot of gun could take down the drones really, really quick. So the intel gathering aspects of it were quite hard to do. And I'm sure they'll introduce a class in the future that has a very good drone that'll be very good for recon. As for actual gameplay, it was very similar to Ghost Recon Wildlands. The way you aim the weapon, the way you fire the weapon, it all very much felt like Wildlands when it comes to the controls. The cover system is the same as well. You don't have to attach yourself, it's kind of automatically done, which is always a bit jarring. You're so used to pressing a button to get into cover, whereas you don't do that, you just run up to the cover and then you're in cover. So getting used to that again uh, can be quite difficult, and especially in this short time frame. But thankfully, I will be playing it a lot more very soon. So I'm looking forward to that. And that should be like story driven co-op stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing how I, I actually do over a longer period of getting back into Ghost Recon. But let's talk downsides. So it felt like they added a few gimmicks in. So the, the loot and stuff, they're, you know, that does feel a bit weird and a bit odd, but also it kind of matches up with the gameplay they're going for. Uh, having to find stuff to do healing or to you know get drones in the air does feel like it's a good element because it means the players have to move around but then they add in a battle royale style zone that only shows up at the end of the game basically when the game's gone too long and they want the game to end 
this zone comes in randomly and starts to shrink just like a battle royale zone and of course this will end the match no matter what because either people die in the zone or they get forced to fight each other in the center eventually and the voiceover called it a radiation leak now i think they could have done this in a multitude of different ways it is interesting that they went directly to the battle royale style zone even with position and how it shows up on the mini map, it's exactly the same. Like you have the circle, it starts to shrink in, it stops, makes a new circle, starts to shrink in. It's exactly like Battle Royale. I was very amazed at that. And I'm wondering if they will actually put that into a full fledged Battle Royale mode in Breakpoint as well. That they maybe just haven't announced yet because it was so similar. From a very short amount of time with the PvP element of this game, is that it hasn't improved enough. It's still fun, it's still enjoyable, the maps are definitely better, the mechanics are maybe potentially better, but overall it's not a leap forward that should come with a sequel I think. I do want to see some other elements of the single player coming to this, I'd love to see the engine mechanics actually be used, so if I get shot then maybe I can't run as fast. Because literally you can go down to less than half health and you can still run around just as fast as a full health player. And it'd be kind of cool to bring those survival things in from the single player element of this game. Along with the ability to heal and stuff like that, it kind of makes sense that it would be kind of okay to have some like bandages in there where you can start to improve yourself. But also just, you know, even if you heal up, maybe you're still not at full speed. Just to add in an element of, you know, risk to it all. But that could also just come in with an extra game mode, so they might be able to do that. The game also looks gorgeous, of course. Uh, if you're a sniper, you're going to love it because there's always big sightlines. Even on that map where I was inside buildings and it felt much more close combat, there was still obviously tons of places for snipers to go camp. And uh, you could do it from inside a building or you could be outside in the wilderness. There's a lot of options. So... Yeah, I could see this working out, especially for coordinated teams. It's going to be a lot of fun to play. But but for me, I expected to have the staying power of the previous Ghost Wars. I will play it for a bit. I'll enjoy it. I'll have fun with it. But I probably will not be coming back to it regularly with my friends. I would love to because it is one of the more tactical PvP options out there. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the gameplay in the comments below. And I'll catch you next time. Target down. Marking Kill all the hostiles. Every last one. Hostiles are shooting. The entire eyes on a hostile. <laughs> Target eliminated. I hear gunfire. Been spotted. They got me pinned. Shit, they saw me. Hostiles are shooting. Round. Draw on fire. Target down. Target down. One of your teammates is injured. I'm out of cover here. The surveillance system is ready for access. Start hacking. I'm sending a drone up.
surveillance system. They're tracking you. Hostiles are shooting. You're the last one standing. The surveillance system is ready to be accessed. There's a radiation leak moving into uh, the area. I got you Hurry next up time. and finish this. Getting my heel on. Hang tight, I'm coming. I hear guns. A surveillance system has just been located. I'm in the clear. The surveillance system is ready for hacking. Only a single enemy remaining. Enemy positions revealed. Forces have been defeated.